much uh, lost 4-2 in the early exhibition, but seemed a lot of positive things to take out of this one. Yeah, I'd, I'd kind of discount the score line. Uh, they have a special player, Macy Hanlon. You know, we, you know, it's a preseason game, and I'm not going to game plan for her. You know, I'm not going to you know, get together with Reagan and Lydia and our center back to say, all right, got to do this. It's not that time of the year. We're not chasing a result today. We're trying to, I mean, I played everyone on our team, and we have 28 kids on our team. So I'm really pleased with that. And, I, and the team did exactly what I wanted them to do. I said, I want double-digit shots, and I want to hold the other team under double-digit, and I want corner kicks. We had 15 shots. They had five. We had nine corner kicks. So if they're doing what I asked them to do, we're going to get a lot more wins than we're going to get losses. You know, the team was down 2 nothing in the blink of an eye. What were they able to do, and how much resolve were they able to show to kind of eventually get that equalizer? Yeah, I think we, had, I mean, I think we started the right group. I mean, <clears throat> Lydia knows she switched off. Reagan knows she switched off, and I wasn't really happy with Pat's communication there. But they, I think they're, it's a mature group. When you get away from our freshmen, we have a lot of sophomores, juniors, and seniors who've played a lot of games, and I think they just shrugged it off. They're like, that's a mistake. You know, this team didn't do anything to earn a goal, and we just made a mistake. So I think after that was two goals and they had 2-0 in six minutes, I mean, we could have shut it down and just given up, but we didn't do that. It showed the resolve, clawed back. Uh, the injection of tear up top in the second period, I guess you would call it, was outstanding. She is a dynamic player. True, I mean, it's an easy penalty call. Amy converts it. So 2-1, game on. And so Bianca gets the, third, the second goal with a great effort by with Kat. But then, you know, if you look at the team that was on the field that third period, it was, you know, senior and Kat, junior and Bianca, and then the rest of them were children. So I'm so proud of them. I mean, that's all. I, I keep saying the word proud of, you know, but that's what I am. Dayton's in a few days. Uh, what's the next step? For I that? think the next step is we gotta we got to keep getting better. I mean, we're back to the, the you know, we're back to work. I, you know, everything I asked this team from a tactical standpoint, they did today. So we just got to keep growing tactically. We got to keep growing, you know, playing together. And you know, this team is pretty committed. They they love to train. They come out early and train on the little things. So I think you saw that on the field today. And I told them, don't worry about results today. Don't worry about the result. I was pleased with the effort. I was pleased with the quality. Okay. Thanks, coach. All right, thank you. All right, Amy. I guess assess uh, what you saw out there in this first scrimmage. In general, I saw great possession, everyone really working on what we've worked on for the last week. Um, great effort from everyone, and that's really all we were looking for. Um, as a score, it might not show really what really happened out here. I thought I was, I was very proud of our team. Our possession overtook the other team. So overall, I'm very pleased. Yeah, team down to nothing before they could really even blink, and you, you get the first goal off of a PK, but just take me through how the team was able to really kind of claw back uh, with the, with your depth, especially with some freshmen stepping up playing big minutes. Yeah. Um, the biggest issue that we had with the first two goals that they put on us was just 50-50 balls out of the air. Nothing crazy, just kind of jitters, not really. We've been trying to work on playing on the ground and really restarts on the ground for the last week. So I really think that was one of our biggest issues. We just weren't prepared for those big punts right from the get-go and we really suffered from that. So once we just focused on getting those 50-50 balls in that second 30 minutes, the whole game changed around. We got, earned some confidence and got everything on our feet. Thanks, Amy. Thanks. All right, Bianca, I know the end result isn't what the team is looking for, but Give me your takeaway on this one. Uh, well, first of all, it is the first game of the scrimmage of the season. Um, and just from being here just a week, there's already been so much improvement. And everyone thought the freshmen did so well stepping up their first college game. Um, there's a lot of movement in the game, a lot of creativity that we're really excited to see. We just need to execute on our chances that we do create. And other than that, we're really happy. The team was kind of down 2 nothing in the blink of an eye. Uh, what, was, what were you able to do to kind of keep grinding, dig out, and eventually get that equalizer and make a 2-2 off of your foot? Well, right off the bat, we weren't uh, checked on the first two minutes. We just had to regroup there, um, get back to ourselves. <laughs> They're all great players on the field. They can handle all of those things. Um, and after that, just come take a breather and get back to our game.